Hello. What I'm going to do is talk to you about the empirical rule. It's a great rule to know when you're working with the normal distribution. Basically, what the empirical rule tells us is that 68% of the population is within one standard deviation, 95% of the population is within two standard deviations, and 99.7% of the population is within three standard deviations of the mean. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the 65% and 95%. So let's take a look at verbal SAT scores. We know that for verbal SAT scores, the mean is calculated to be at 490. So that is right there in the middle of the distribution. Also, the standard deviation, it turns out, is 100. And finally, the shape of the distribution is normal. Because of the empirical rule, we know that 68% of the scores will fall within one standard deviation. It'll do this anytime you have a normal distribution. You'll get 68% of the population within that first standard deviation. When you're drawing a normal distribution, by the way, and you want to know where to mark the first standard deviation on your drawing of a normal distribution, you put that first standard deviation right where the shape of the normal curve changes from uh, going downward to starting to go outward. And the same distance that you see here between the mean and one standard deviation, you use that same distance for two standard deviations, same distance for three standard deviations, and so on, both above the mean and below the mean. Okay, well, what about when we're talking about two standard deviations um, away from the mean? Well, 95% of the population is within two standard deviations of the mean. So again, our mean is 490. 690 is two standard deviations above the mean. 290 is two standard deviations below the mean. So we can say that 95% of the population is between a verbal SAT score of 290 and a verbal SAT score of 690. So again, just to reiterate with the empirical rule, 68% of the population is within one standard deviation, 95% within two standard deviations. And this works not only for verbal SAT score, but anything that can be described by a normal distribution. So here we have men's weight. And let's say that the average weight for men is 140 and that the standard deviation is 30. So the value that's one standard deviation above the mean would be 170. And the value that would be one standard deviation below the mean is 110. So between 110 and 170, we know that 68% of the population exists. Because the empirical rule tells us if you have a normal distribution, 68% of the population is always within one standard deviation of the mean. Likewise, between a weight of 90 and a weight of 190, we're going to have 95% of the population. That is, 95% of the population is going to exist within two standard deviations of the mean, guaranteed anytime you have a normal distribution. Finally, let's take a look. Here we have some data for sleep. And I've superimposed a normal distribution over this histogram. But you can see that this histogram isn't exactly normal. It doesn't quite match up exactly with this overlay of a normal distribution. The empirical rule only works if, when you look at the histogram for the data, it actually has this beautiful normal distribution shape. As the data veers away from being exactly normal, our empirical rule will not work so well. So if you want confidence that the empirical rule is giving you an accurate estimate, you want that histogram to be normally shaped and the size of the population to be somewhere around 1,000 or so. All right, good luck with that empirical rule.